Hello, welcome to the month of September. I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, hey, we are in the month of September, and I'm telling you it's going to be a great month. I don't know what thoughts are in your heart. I don't know what you've been experiencing this whole year. But listen to me. September actually marks a new beginning for those who follow the Hebrew calendar. September marks a new year. Sometime in September, they will step into a new year. Now that's important to note because most people who are really spiritually inclined will begin to tell you that God begins to give them fresh assignments around the month of September and October. Now, this is true. But before we go into today's broadcast, I would not forget the instruction the Lord gave to me. Can we call for that daily bread? Say this with me. Say, Father, I demand right now and I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Throughout this month of September, I will lack nothing. Because Lord, you supply everything that I need. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, praise God. So I was telling you that it, it's, it marks the new beginning. And you remember Jesus made a very powerful statement when he was speaking in John chapter 4 to the woman by the well. He said salvation is of the Jews. Now many people don't understand why Jesus made that statement. Praise God. I'll tell you what Jesus simply meant is this. There are lots of things that we'll have to look towards the Jewish people for, especially when it concerns God's dealing with man. Things like dates matter a lot. Because when God begins to give dates, then you know that He is speaking the truth because He created them. So when God calls something the beginning of the year, then you better believe him because that's how he functions. Now, I don't know how they came about the different new years that we have today, but we follow them with wisdom. But don't forget, as a child of God, you must be tuned to the Spirit of God for him to give you your own times and seasons. So for the month of September, the Spirit of God is saying it is time for your light to shine. It is time for your light to shine. Now read Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Praise God. He is giving a command. He says, arise, shine. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Why? The season of your light has come now what does it mean the season of your light has come now i'm going to be sharing lots of things with you this month of september but this is our theme for the month and the spirit of god is going to be guiding us with teachings that will prepare your hearts prepare your mind and cause you to begin to manifest this great light that god has given to you you know, I, I was sharing some messages to you like for the past three days now. Telling you what Jesus meant when he said, The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. In John chapter 1 verse 4, he tells us, In him was life and the life was the light 
of men. So when God is saying, your light has come, what he is referring to, he's not just saying, jump up and begin to run. He's telling you, hey, get up. How would you get up? You get up by the word of the Lord. Meaning, in this month, pay attention to every word that God is going to give to you. Because, you see, in those who are not, that's why you must seek the word of God like never before. Now, when I say seek the word of God like never before, I'm not just talking about reading your Bible. I'm talking about go before the Lord Jesus and seek words that will come out of his mouth. He said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. He didn't say the words that you read. He said the words that I speak unto you. So listen, never, like never before, you must seek the word of God from his mouth. You remember Moses told them, he says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of of God. God has never intended for you to walk in darkness. But you know what causes darkness? Causes, causes of darkness is simply the lack of his word. Because you see, when there is no life, there would not be light. His word gives life. And when you take his word into your spirit, you become light to your world so when he says your light has come what's he talking about your word has come and when you receive that word if you don't receive that word there is no light there is no light it is only those who receive his word and begin to leave it the living of his word is now what will produce light to men I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, your season of walking in darkness is over. Your season of walking in darkness concerning anything is over. Your season of walking in darkness where your health is concerned is over. Your season of walking in darkness where your finances is concerned is over. Where your relationship is concerned, where your career is concerned, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, your season of walking in darkness where these things are is completely over. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, light has come. It's now the season of light. It's now the season of illumination. Why? Because God, Alima Supra Tehiga Bahazaba, God who is ever ready to speak to you, actually, He is already speaking to you. Praise God. He will speak concerning everything. He will speak concerning everything you can think about. Just, just think about it. Everything, your job, your, your life, your even the clothes you put on, God can speak to you concerning that. He is interested in it. You know why? Because he wants lights to be all around you. Praise God. Think about, think about you wearing the, the very clothes God wants you to wear every day. Think about you wearing the haircut God wants you to, to, to wear. Think about you wearing the shoes God wants you to wear. Think about you going to the places God wants you to go to. Think about speaking or meeting the people God wants you to meet. Guess what's going to happen to you? All your life is going to be full of lights. <laughs> now that's God's dream for you. That's God's dream for you. Not just you seeing light, but you becoming light to many. Because see, your very appearance dispels darkness. Your very appearance brings illumination. When you show up, people will begin to understand things. Hallelujah. That's what God has called you for. He he's not called you to, I don't know what is going on. I don't even understand again. I don't know what's happening in our country. Hey, stop thinking that way. Light has come. Oh, in Nigeria, for example. Oh, look, 2020, we don't even know what's going to happen. We don't know what's happening in our country. We don't know what the president is doing. We don't know what. Hey, hey, hey. It's enough talking that way. No more. It is time to begin to receive life. How? By receiving his word. And as we receive his word, we are receiving life 
into our being. And as we begin to walk by the instruction of his word, we become light to men. Men will begin to say, oh, 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 I understand now. I think I get what you're saying. Oh, I understand what is going on. I understand what, hey, life has come so that your light will shine. That's what the Spirit of God is saying to you in this month of September. No more darkness. No more darkness. Not just in your life but around you. No more darkness in your family. No more darkness in your family. No more we don't understand in our family. When people get up to 60 years or when people get up to 50 years, they die. Hey, it's all over. That season is over in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't understand what's going on. Hey, when, when, when somebody gets a job after three years, there's always a problem. That's what we've noticed. So it's darkness. That's darkness. Because you can't explain it. So it's darkness. Whatever the enemy has done against you, whatever he's done against your family, whatever he's done against anything that concerns you, I declare right now in the name of the Lord Jesus, light has come. Light has come. Light has come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will receive words from his mouth. You will open your mouth and declare what he has told you. You will get up from wherever you are. Oh, I love the Amplified Translation of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. It says, arise from the frustration, prostration in which situation of life have placed you. Get up from it. Arise. You know why he's telling you to arise? Because God is ready to speak to you. His word is already there for you. Praise God. Get up and receive his word from his mouth. Do everything to get God's word out of his mouth. Everything you want to do is as simple as saying, Lord, what do you think about this? Lord, what's your mind concerning this? Lord, what, what, what do you want me to do concerning this? It's as simple as that. Everything you're involved with, get the word of God concerning it. Oh, concerning your marriage, concerning your children. Oh, Lord, what do you think about my first son? What do you think about my second son? What do you think about my daughter, Lord? Oh, Lord, what do you think about their school? What do you think about their lesson teacher? Oh, yes. What do you think about the sports they do? What do you think about... Hey, put, put God's word in everything. Look for his word. There is no way you are going to ask the Lord concerning anything that is going to keep it away from you. It begins by you asking. Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. I'm telling you the best thing to ask for right now. Ask for his word. Ask for his word. Ask for his wisdom. Lord, what's your wisdom concerning this thing that I want to do? What are you asking for? You're asking for life. Because the moment he speaks to you, life is going to be released into your being. And once life comes, ah, you know what happens? When the word of God comes inside you, you know light has just come. Because it will illuminate your being. So they say, ah, 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 I, I know now. Now the same way you are no, now it's you getting up and living by that instruction and command that the Lord has given. Then everyone around you will begin to say, Oh, we know now. Praise God. Yeah, and that's how we're bringing light to our generation. That's how we're bringing light to everything that we do. Oh, I give you praise, precious Father. I give you praise. I give you praise for the month of September. I give you praise for every day of this month. No day in this month will show up any form of darkness. But we speak right now your word into every day of the month of September. Oh, these 30 days of this month shall be days full of life, full of light. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, no one hearing the sound of my voice will remain down through this month. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, before the end of the month, oh, everyone, everyone around you will partake of your light. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone around you will partake of your light. They will gather around you and you will give them light. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give you praise, Father. And so I declare over your life, any sickness in your body that have defied medical science, right now, I command it to leave you now. Be healed in your body. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, be healed. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Woo! Glory to God. It's going to be a great month. And that's why I invite you, if you've not joined us yet, you can join the next prayer watch. Because today is the first and we are fasting and praying according to the watches. Now the Zoom link is, is here on your screen. Or you can call us so we'll get it across to you. And, and, and just make sure you're calling when we're not praying. Praise God. So we pray at every word. Join the next watch. Join the next prayer meeting. And let's set September in the right path. So that you will run, not just walk. Because this month I see things happening so fast. I see things turning so fast. Even for our nation, Nigeria. I, I see things turning around so fast, so fast within this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. I really want to see you in a prayer meeting. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow if I don't see you in a prayer meeting. Bye.